The secondary. What, yep. what are you really thinking about that? That how that group's kind of rounding into shape at this point. Uh, I tell you what, we got good competition, obviously, on the corners, and on at the safety position. You know, now that we had a guy injured, and I won't mention guy's name, you know, we got some got some injuries. You know, rough. And uh, so we're trying to rotate the guys there that, that probably hadn't played that position. So what we're trying to do is get a lot of different looks right now to get it narrowed down if we had to play a game uh, tomorrow. Yeah. It seems like your, your depth is pretty good, but what do you think about the ability to start at a high level with your top players? If I said this, I could probably – we've been talking about getting the best 11. I'm probably at probably the best – I'm probably at nine. I, I know I'm at nine. I can count nine right now. And there's the competition at three different spots to get uh, two of them. Does that make sense? And so at, at cornerback specifically, then what? <laughs> I like how you use that word. <laughs> what, I got to use that word. What, is that, what does that look like as far as the guys competing? Uh, you got you got Roe. You got Markham. You got... Number 10, Ed Wood. You got, uh, I'm trying to keep it as general as possible. I got them in my head. I just don't want to name them, if that makes sense. Um, and then when, when we get guys back, well, I think we'll have it narrowed down. Don't quote me on that. How's that? <laughs> and then, Coach, when you, you've been out on the field, obviously, throughout fall camp talking about communication communication right. they're doing better when they talk to this point how do you feel that the, the defense and the secondary in general has been communicating with each other well let's start you know starts with the linebacker let's be honest they got to close the front after that then everybody starts talking you know the line starts to talk about what their games are going to be then the secondary's got to make sure they're talking about motion and tight splits uh, i'll say this i've been on their tail about it they understand what i want and uh is it 100 percent? no is it 95 percent? Yeah, but we got to get to 100. You hear what I'm saying? We got to get to 100. So once the process starts, it starts one way, it then goes up front. Now I'm gonna talk about in the back end, and let's roll. Coach, it seems like we've seen every rotation of safety in the back half. Absolutely. What, is, what does that offer the defense? And does that give you a little versatility? As many guys as I can rotate back there, I, I, I see versatility. We got several guys that communicates very well and we got some guys that listen very well we got some guys that uh, you know just tell me so that's why you see the combinations because some guys do things better than others but what I get to find out is who who talks to who you know if I'm uncomfortable talking to you I, may, I might not have you in that situation but if I know you're comfortable talking to another guy let's see how you two play together because when it when it hits the fan you two could be playing together and Guess what? You got to get to know your, your roommate, so to speak. You know, you, it's like this, you know. You sit on the plane, right? You sit next to that lady right there, and when you get off the plane, you say, gosh, she didn't say anything. But what did you say to her? Right? But you get off the plane and you say, God, she didn't say anything. But what did you say to her? So the communication is, you know, you got the listener and the speaker. So, um, but you're absolutely right. We're rotating them. And, and by Sunday, by Sunday, we're going to know exactly, and they're going to know exactly how I feel. You know, hey, hey, you didn't have the opportunity, so my script today, you know, we've been going 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Now I'm going 5-5-3, five, 2-1. Five, you know, so there's a reason for what I'm trying to get to. You know, we got to get in shape, number one, and we got to run. You know, we, it's, been, it's been a light training camp to me. You know, so let's let's pick up the rip, pick up the rotation, and let's go. You good? Come on, come on. I'm, I feel year, good. Last year you admitted to us that you were concerned about the depth, and that's why you're kind of moving some some of the cornerbacks over to safety um, in order to provide that depth. Where's that level of concern? Um, with depth? And can, yes. With depth? Oh, we got enough depth. We, we we got enough depth. That that's. I'm trying to make sure I can figure out who can communicate with each other and know exactly what to do. We got enough depth. You know we. Depth's not an issue right now. It's making sure we get the right guys in there to play. 
I wanted to ask about the defensive line. Obviously, the loss of Matus is, is important, but wow. you do have some depth there, but your take on that position without him in the mix now? Well, he was the leader, and he still is that leader of our defense, uh, really our team when it's all said. Um, what it did do is give guys a chance to work their way up, get more reps, so to speak. And, you know, th there's the old saying, the more reps you get, the more exposed you get. Well, it's okay. You've got to fix that. You can't, if you don't get the reps, you can't improve. So it's, you know, 59% I like. And that's why I said I, I can't get 60. I'm not going higher than 60, so I'm saying fit. My, my threshold is usually 60%. Come on, Craig, what you got? I see you waiting. Craig, Craig waiting to get me. There's a lot of new guys on the roster. Yes, sir. I do, and it's by this script, and it's really by errors, you know, because the script, I got a lot of things on here. I do know one thing. Once we start game week, everything will get shrunk down. So I feel pretty good right now about what we're trying to get accomplished. Now, do we have some mental errors? Mental, excuse me, mental errors? Yes. Physical errors, I can deal with. You know, the mental errors hurt you. It's like I told the guys, if we keep the ball in front, we got a chance. If the ball goes over a hit, you know, that's when the problems become. So uh, to answer your question, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, and I can tell by this, because sooner or later I'm going to have to shrink this thing down too so everybody can play fast. Is that? Come on now. I know, yeah. but don't. don't. You got any, let me just follow up. You got yeah. any? I haven't even talked about. I haven't even talked about the second game. I really hadn't. And you're right. Everybody knows what happened. I, I don't need to bring that up. So I got to minimize that chatter right off the top. You know, we got NAU. That that's who we play. And when we come to the next opponent, we'll get there. And and you're absolutely right. Everybody knows what happened last year to the, the school down the road that went up there. That can't happen. You can't let that happen. If you're thinking about that, we we got a problem already. We need to be thinking about where we're at and plan NAU. So I'm trying to keep them, you know. And really, I haven't had to worry about it so far. You know, when it, the problem is, is when it's get doing that week when everybody starts thinking about, you know, the schedule. Well, the, the, we don't have to worry about the schedule right now. We're in training camp. Uh, Donnie, so you never want to lose a player for the season, obviously, but it, is there a silver lining that defensive ends one of your deeper positions maybe on the team? And what do you think about some of the other guys there? Cooper, Joe Moore, Trevez Moore. Dylan Hall seems to be coming on a little bit. What's the cliche? Next man up? I hate to put it that way. And, you know, it's just the cliche. And that gives another guy an opportunity, which might not have happened. Because what I'm doing is I'm cutting reps anyway. That gives another guy the chance to move up. So it's the old cliche, next man up. It, unfortunately, I... That's how I can express it to keep it as simple. Uh, how do you feel about those other guys? That oh, I feel good about them. I mean, it, we got to probably, we, it's like the question about depth. We got depth. Depth is not a problem right now. I mean, we got enough guys that can go in and participate. But are, is it the right guys doing the right thing at the right time? I mean, we, we got guys that can go play. Now, some of them haven't played it down. <laughs> some of them haven't played it down. But at the same time, you got to give them the opportunity. Unfortunate for Matus, the other guy benefit from it. What do you like about Joe Moore? He's been steady. He's been steady. He's learned. He's, he's improved from last year. He understands our defense. And you can tell one thing. When, you, when they put you in that, the driver's seat, it means something. You know, you've been riding over here, and all of a sudden you're in the driver's seat. You don't want to go back. You don't want to get in the back seat now. You know, you go from the side to the front. And now all of a sudden you got to go to the back. You don't go back over there, you know, because somebody else is sitting in that seat waiting. So uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with Joe, really happy.